Here we go, guys. Oh, <clears throat> she's eating. Hey, yes, they like they like their scratches. Yes, they do. Well, he gets a little pouty, but uh, she likes hers. Usually she eats right out of the pail, but usually she eats right out of the pail. I don't know. Hey, look, what's that? Come and eat. Yes. Oh, come here. Get your head out. Not a girl. I can't even get it back far enough, guys. That's, you know, she likes to be, she likes to be scritched. There we go. Feed time and these guys are gonna make an, well, this one. Hello, hello sweetheart. Um, yeah, she's, she's going to freezer camp this weekend. It's gonna be tough. Yes, whenever, you know, she loves her ears scratched. Scratch her right behind her ear, she just loves it. Or right here on her cheek. She just absolutely loves it. And she'll make me sit here. And I have to dump some out for the other one. But yeah, no, she'll, she'll sit here and she wants me to, to give her her oats and corn. Well, hello. She just wants her oats and corn. Yummy. Well, you're just like a furry carpet, so I'm gonna use you as a furry carpet. Yes. Oh, here's a good girl. Here's a good girl. Yes, her is. Here's a good girl. Big silk. And yes, everybody's like, I don't know how you do it. Well, I know exactly what she's eating. And I know what she ate before this. And that was... Well, get your nose out of there then, stupid. Get your nose out. Well, get your nose out. <clears throat> she's not too bright. But she ate hay until the last month. She's been eating corn and oats. And, uh, hey, let him have some. You've been eating out of the bucket. You want more, come in the bucket. But, yeah, this is all part of, all part of life, guys, or life on the farm. We saved you. You just about became cow food. That was close. That was close. Yes, you just about ate us. You just about ate all your friends. Yes, get your big head out here. Big oaf. You big goober. Okay. No, she doesn't want to anymore. Move your head. Hey, move your heads. Penelope, move your head. That a girl. Well, doofus, you're gonna get. Oh boy. Doofus, get your head out of there, dummy. Now I gotta clean your head. Oh boy. Honestly, they are worse than children.
Okay. Now I gotta clean this doofus off. Come here, doof. He doesn't like that. But I'm not gonna walk away and leave him all full of food. That's just mean. That's just mean, Goober. Well, don't put it on the ground, stupid. That's why I put it in the trough. Okay. Well, come here. Move your head. One of a wrestling war, you might outweigh me like three to one. So there we go, guys. This is my heifer. And yeah, she's about, I don't know, guesstimating about 800 pounds. So I should get 400, hopefully, which will sustain our family for a good 18 months. But, all right, you good to go? You got lots of water. And he's got, he's got his horns. He's only a yearling. And uh, now, usually, actually, he's the first. Um, Rob and I were just talking about it. He's the first one out of the, the batch. She's 50% Highland, 50% Red Angus. But she's got the coat of, like, she's got the, the hair. Hey, buddy. She's definitely looks like a, a Highland. But him, he's the first one to have horns. Like, you know, she's got, she's got no horns. Where he's got, you know, he's got quite a good quite a good horn started for a year old and okay so he's a year and she's about 18 months so that's why that's why they mix the two um so that you can process them at a younger age they're tender more tender because they have the size of an angus so, just a little, a little bit of feeding from, from the farm today. All right, guys, you good to go? You guys have lots of water. Obviously, you've pulled a lot of hay for your bed, goobers. All right, you guys are almost done. I'm out of here. Now, so there we go. That was, well, <clears throat> I was talking to Murph, my uh, adopted Newfie son. Um, he was showing off beautiful baby boy that him and Abby just, uh, well, Abby had it. Abby did all the work, but, uh, Oh, I forgot to turn off the lights. Um, for those of you that, that know Murph and his uh, wonderful other half, Abby, um, seven pounds uh, even. And uh, you want to see the feet on this little monster. Oh, Lee rattling. <clears throat> He's got big feet. And... Uh, Anyway, so we were we were chit-chatting chit about the baby and all that good stuff, and he uh, he thought it was funny. Ooh, sorry guys, just trying to clean it off. Sorry, I just heard something over at the house. There should be nobody home, so. That all locked up and we got a 
all right, I'm gonna just say, you know, everybody's like, oh, I wanna go on a cruise. Hang on guys, I'm just trying to get the, the dust off my, Ooh, gotta wash this whenever I get home. Um, this is why I like Caribbean cruising, but I'll take Alaska. So don't forget, check out Cruising Alaska 25 on Facebook. And uh, we're starting to put up some tidbit of uh, information on uh, where, what, how, when, uh, the different excursion, uh, especially the one that Jesse and I are um, are trying to, to organize. Is it cheap? No. Nothing about Alaska is cheap. And I'm not being smart. It, uh, you know, well, let's put it this way. It's cheap for Alaska for what we're actually getting to see. Uh, now, there's one big mama. She, uh, she's gonna be calving within the next couple months. She's not starting to bag up. And there's old Barney. A couple people have asked her how Barney's doing. He's doing okay. He's just sitting there, eating, uh, eating his hay. Everybody, yes, that's she is laying in about a foot and a half, two feet of snow, and she's happier than a highland in snow. They love it, absolutely love it. But. Anyways, yeah, mama's got a big old belly going. So kind of like me. Uh-oh. Why? Oh, there we go. Mm. All right then. Thank goodness. So we've just got about six inches of snow and ice on top of sheet of ice. So, and we're supposed to get more snow yet tonight and freezing rain. So it, uh, it's going to be, uh, eventful and uh, I think I think yes it hurts but I do believe that we possibly could be starting to tap tomorrow and y'all know what that means that means sugar bush time that's when uh, if the girls don't come to the sugar shack they don't get to talk to us oh I'm still not out the road still not against the law hang on there we go anyways I'm going to put you down as well I'll, I'll just turn the camera around and show you what the roads look like right now so there is what five inches of snow looks like on an unplowed back road so anyways i'm gonna let you guys go i just thought that it'd uh, be fun to take you along and show you uh you know, whenever you give uh, give cattle what they want, they become your friends real fast. 
um, whenever they first went into the barn, there was no way in heck that they'd come within 10 feet of me. Now, they want me scratching their ears. They want to be bucket fed. Yeah. So, all in all, oh, <laughs> I wonder why it was going so well. I had the four wheel drive going. Anyways, so I am, yes. I have to stop and uh, see the fire chief. We had a, a bad fire here uh, yesterday. And uh, it uh, just around the corner from my place, so. It, uh, it's never, never easy whenever it, whenever it hits, but anyways, um, we will, uh, catch you, uh, on a live. You'll probably see this tomorrow, but, uh, hopefully everybody has a grand day. Toodles.